can hear an Osram coming a mile away. This place. Hmm. Like nothing you're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. Kind I of bet space? you're a machine hunter too. Okay. She's I've talking through share? this. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the hunter's lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the hunting lodge exactly? Nothing. If you like stuck up bigots. Oh. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur. So I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the carja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be carja to join the lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe, but it isn't going to be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. Aloy, A L O Y, is the main character's name. What's their story? Oh, another side mission. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably Hi. with no friends or family. Hi. Hi there, Outlander. Hi, side thing. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Yes. Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your. Okay, stop there. If you want me to hear you out. Uh, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuke are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk bear live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. Don't know what that means, but okay. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right. More of an opportunist. Uh, girl. Uh, Nora, girl. <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And 
you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Okay. So we're still doing the Hunter's Lodge, though. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Hi. Only members and invited guests are allowed in. I'm invited, How dumbass. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Win three. And I'll let you in. You son of a off bitch. You go. Okay. Side missions galore. Can you help me? Can you yeah. spare a moment? So Calm down, I ran over here. Has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. I think they Otherwise, scared the shit out of me. Getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King. So when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir. So that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Is there a thing close? Uh, this one would be the closest, I guess. Whew. The machine is docile. It's like they've already been overridden. Okay, these aren't bad people. Okay, because there's a fucking dude over here. Are these things good? These are good? Hi, seeker things. Talk to Good hunting. Hi, buddy. To see these machines up close like this, it's grazer dung. I'm sorry. What are you talking like? We haven't ago. done this shit before. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter, tore him in two. A challenge I accepted, but when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. May your song echo. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I, 
I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines... sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We are not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? That's deep, man. That's deep. What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, Perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing the machines into rest for them. There's something about believe? this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. What are we doing here? Every idle moment is another mile between us. Okay. Looking for Banuk. Banuk is that? Oh no. Banuk. No. Where are you sitting, man? Was she exiled? Okay. It just said I could talk to him. There. Nothing. Oh, just the Banuk. That's the people here. Okay. So just in general. We'll see what the shamans have learned. Okay, so just in general, talk to him. Okay. We can talk to this dude. He looks important. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here too. Hey, okay, Cass, Cass. Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies, between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. May the machine spirit Interesting. Okay, so he talked to him.
there. The signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I fucking looked up there. I better look into it. That's why you watch. Can't just get Vilgan send you. I guess shards can buy. Why do you got one of those gas turner things on your that. stomach? Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up and uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction, but it's taken a beating already, like it dropped from the sky. But we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. What do you let the ropes slip for, you bunch of chuff skull? What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. He just walked, he came so back after he walked it away. To you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All he's ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp. Before the machines tear it apart. I think it's happening already. No, what? they've already started attacking. No shit. The hunt is back. Yes, war and rend at me. I don't fear it.
hear my song, machine? A sharp song. All right, Cass, Cass, you just got to let me know the best way of getting a hold of you. The okay. machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, no. defend the camp. Do what you must. The hunt is back. All you do is keep your distance. Jumping down there like an idiot is just, you know, stupid. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asuram thought. The Asuram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us, the man and machine. Now the blue light has gone, and we are left with many songs, but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, T Cook. <laughs> 